as paper number 50 paper number 50 question number 66 to 66 to 70 now in this question number 66 to 70 a b c d e f g and h are the eight persons and living on eight different floors but not necessarily in the same order floor number one and so on hence in total eight seven six five four three two and one hence in total eight floors and eight persons and these eight persons likes different fruit then what is the first information here the one who likes turnip lives on an even number of floor the person who likes turnip lives on an even number of floor that means it must be either two four six and at the same time only three people lives between the one who likes turnip and c now how many persons are there in between turnip and c there must be exactly three persons hence if you take turnip at this place now in the first case i'm taking turnip at this place then how many persons are there in between turnip and c one two three and c must be here that is one possibility then what is the other possibility here the other possibility now two or six or four or eight isn't it or eight or two in any order the reverse order then in the second case if you take the turnip at this place turnip at this place then c will be here clear now then e lives turnip only three people live between the one who likes turnip and c only two people live between c and d between c and d how many persons are there there are exactly two persons and in case one this d must be on the third floor and in case two this d must be on the fifth floor only two people live between c and d d does not live on the lowermost floor in both the cases d is can be either on three or five but not on one only three people live between the one who likes d and goa between d and goa there must be exactly three persons hence in case one this goa the person who likes goa must be on floor number seven and in case two and three persons in between these two is nothing but this person who likes goa must be on floor number one then e lives immediately above a this e lives immediately above a this e and e are adjacent to each other e lives on an even number floor as e lives on an even number floor age and odd number floor because these two are adjacent and this e could be either two four or eight as as of now in case one this e could be either two four or eight and in case two this e could be four six or eight isn't it there are two possibilities then out of this e lives on an even number floor a does not like goa a does not like goa and a lives neither on floor number three nor number floor number five hence a cannot be on floor number seven and a cannot be on floor number three a cannot be on floor number five now e lives on an even number floor and immediately above this a a must be odd number floor as a is an odd number floor this a must be either one three five seven out of which and this a and a a cannot be on the third floor cannot be on the fifth floor cannot be on the seventh floor then what is left over here a does not like goa and this goa must be where should this goa be and the person who likes goa must be hence in this case a cannot be on the second cannot be on the third cannot cannot be on three cannot be on five cannot be on seven and this a must be here and e must be here isn't it and in this case in this case what happens here this a e a cannot be goa and a cannot be one a cannot be three and a cannot be five hence a must be on floor number seven then e must be on floor number eight hence there are two possibilities in this and a does not like goa and neither lives in third number four nor on floor number five and only two people live between a and the one who likes mango between a and the one who likes mango and the person who likes mango must be on floor number four and in this case the person who likes mango must be in this one also the person must be on floor number four and only one person lives between the one who likes mango and grapes between mango and grapes there must be exactly one person hence in case one and the person who likes grapes must be on sixth floor and in the next one and the person who likes grapes must be on the second floor clear now then only one person between mango and grapes the one who likes grapes below the one who likes strawberry the one who likes grapes 
below the one who likes strawberry. Hence, in case when the person who likes strawberry must be on the eighth floor. And in this one, strawberry can be either on three, five, seven, or eight, anything, because the word immediately is not given, isn't it? And the one who likes grapes below the one who likes strawberry, B lives immediately above G. As this B lives immediately above G, hence in this case, B lives immediately above G. In case one, there are two possibilities. B and G can be either four or five or seven and eight. And in this case, two B lives immediately above G. And this B must be only one case. B must be on the fourth floor. And only one person lives between G and the one who likes apple. And G and apple, how many persons are there? There is only one person, hence in case two. And the person who likes apple must be on floor number five. And the one who likes a kiwi lives immediately above the one who likes banana. And a kiwi and a banana must be adjacent to each other. And so this is kiwi. If this is kiwi, this person must be banana. And F does not like turnip. And A does not like strawberry. And F does not like turnip means, hence F must be here. And A does not like strawberry. Then who is the person left over? Tell me here. H is the person left over. And the fruit which is left over is strawberry. Strawberry here. Clear now? Now in this case, if you take for this one. Now finally, F does not like turnip there. The given condition will get invalid. Hence, finally, you are left with only one case. And this is the final arrangement for this question number 66 to 70. Why we have no say suddenly we have shifted to this one at the middle. Why it was so? Because in this one we are getting two different possibilities again. But as here in this one we are getting only one possible. Hence we have finalized this possibility rather than working out two possibilities in the first case. Clear? And this is about 66 to 70. Then 71 to 75. Let's first write down this arrangement. Then let us discuss about this 71 to 75. Now in this 71 to 75, how many persons are there? There are eight persons, namely A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. And they are born in the same month of different year. In the different year, that is 1969, 72, 78, and so on up to 2015, 2005. And 69, 72, 78, 81, 18, and all the given years are in the ascending order. And their ages are considered as on the same month of 2016. Here, what is the base year here? The base year was 2016. Now, with the help of this base year, now we need to find out the ages of these persons. And hence, in total, how many persons are there? Eight persons. And first, write down the years here, 1969, now 1969. And the next one is 1972. 69, 72, 78, 78, 81, next to 81 is 89, next to 89 is 97, 97, 2000 and 2005. Hence in total how many persons are there? There are 8 persons. Now 8 persons and these 8 persons are born on different years and the base year was 2016. Now 2016, 1969 to 2016. How many years are there? 1969 plus 31 is 2000 plus 16. 31 plus 16, what is the age of this person? The person who was born in 1969 was 47 years old. And the next one, 69 to 72. Three years, hence here it must be minus three years. Then 72 to 78 plus six, here it must be minus six. Hence 44 minus six is so much 38. 78 to 81 plus 3, and 38 minus 3 is 35. 81 to 89 plus 8, 35 minus 8 is how much? 27. 89 and 97, 8 years. Here 27 minus 8 is how much? 19. 97 and 2003 years. Here minus 3, that is 16. And finally, and 5 years plus 5 minus 5 will be 11 years. Clear now? This is how to identify the ages of this based on the base year. Then G is born in an even number year. G born in an even number year. He is, here he is not talking about even number of A's. Here he is talking about even number year. Even number years, tell me how many even number years are there? 72, 78 and 2000. There are three even number years. And out of which, but not born in the year, which does not divide by 4. As what can infer from this one? This G is born in an even number year. But he does not born in the year which does not divided by four. And the fourth or divided divided count at twenty year law, I put lay on it. Can Indra put it? 
Hence, this person was born in the year which was divided by 4. Is it negation of negation? And this person was born in the year which was divided by 4. Which was divided by 4. Hence, it could be either 2000 or 78. And so how many possibilities do we have? We have some two possibilities. What are those two possibilities? One is 78. That is the first possibility. And the second possibility is, and this person was born in 2000. 72. Now, 72 and this one. And 72. 72 and 2000. As 72 and 2000 here, A is 36 year old now. Now, as A is 36, it is not 36 years since. It is 35. Isn't it? A is 35. Because 36 is nowhere present in this place. And A is so much. A is 35. Please make a correction in this one. A is 35 year old. As A is 35 year old, hence in both the cases, A must be born in the year 1981. And A is 35 year old now. And B is 17 year older than F. F who is 8 years younger than A. F is 8 years younger than A. As A is 35. 8 years younger than A is 35 minus 8, 27. And this F is 27 year old. Isn't it? And that is the reason why we have changed this one to 35. Clear now? The difference between those two must be 8. And, and whatever this be, B is, B is 17 year older than F. As B is 17 year older than F, now F is 27. 27 plus 17 is how much? 27 plus 17? 44. 44. 27 plus 17 is 44. And so what should be the age of this person? This person's, who is that person? B. Now this B is 44 year old. As B is 44 year old, and G 44 is ruled out. Now we are left with only one possibility. Then, there are 8 year gap between the ages of E and D. Between E and D, the age difference must be 8. Hence, age. 47 minus 8. 47 minus 8 is 39 is not there. 38 minus 8, 30 is not there. Isn't it? Hence, 19 and 11. 19 minus 8 is how much? 19 minus 8 is 11. Hence, there are 8 year gap between E and D. As there are 8 year gap between E and D, if E is here, D will be here. Or if E is here, D will be here. And so how many possibilities? There are two possibilities. H is 9 years younger than C. H is 9 years younger than C, but not born in 2005. And H was not born in 2000. Now, that information is not required. Why? Because either D or E must be in 2005. Isn't it? And, and E was born earlier than G. As E was born earlier than G, hence this must be G, and this is D. E was born earlier than G. Then who is the person left over here? H. Then H is 9 years younger than C. As H is younger than C, as H is younger than C, C is here, H will be here. And this is the final arrangement. What is the final arrangement here? C B, H A, F E, G D is the order in which these 8 persons were born in 8 different years. Yesterday also we had done one question based on these years, isn't it? In that one some mathematical calculation was involved. Okay, the difference between the ages of two persons is a perfect cube and such type of, okay. Because earlier on three of the occasions he has given these type of questions wherein it is based on the mathematical operation. And this is about 71 to 75. Yes, first write down this arrangement. Then let us discuss about this question number 76. Now in this question number 76. Now it is based on directions, five villages, V, W, X, Y and Z are the five villages are located in such a way that four villages are at the four corners of a square and the fifth village is at the intersection of the diagonals, of the two diagonals. And village W is to the west of village Y and to the northwest of village Z. Clear? Shall I start with this one? Now in this one, how many villages are there? Five villages are located, four at the corners of a square. Now let us take this is a square. Now in this square, four at the corners, four villages are at the corners, and so this is one diagonal, and this is another diagonal, four at the corners, and another village is at the center of these two diagonals. Then, and the fifth village is at the intersection of the two diagonals, W, village W is to the west of village Y. W is to the west of village Y, isn't it? W is to the west of village Y, and northwest of village Z. And this Y is northwest of village Z. W is northwest of village Z. Hence, can you take like this or not? W and Y. 
Now, sir, what should be the position of this y? Y must be at this place only. Are you agreeing this one or not? If y is here, then w will be here. If w is here, then whatever this z, whatever this z, where should this z be? Now, y, village w is to the west of village y and w is to the west of village z. Tell me what should be the position of this village z. Village z must be here or not? Must be here or this is a possibility? Now tell me whether village z can be here or not. If village z is here, then it will be northwest. Hence, there are two possibilities for this village z, isn't it? And x is to the southwest of village v. x is to the southwest of south and west. And x is to the v is here. This is south and this is west, x. As x is to the southwest of village v, hence where should this x? x must be here. If x is here, then where should this v? v must be at the center only then only it is possible. If V is center, Z will be here. And X is to the southwest of village V. V is towards which direction from village W? As W is here and V is here, this is south and this is east and southeast. Southeast and it is again in which choice? Choice 5 is the answer. Hence question number 76, it is choice 5. In the class we have discussed about the same model in the directions. Now that question will be like this. A is southeast of C, isn't it? A is to the southeast of C and question number 35 in your exercise, in your book, question number 35, A is to the southeast of C, isn't it? And D is to the east of C and northeast of A. A question choose one, same type. Here the only change is what a square has been given but it is there at the time it is much more difficult when compared to this one. Question number 35 in your direction sense textbook. Then question number 77 to 77. Now in question number 77, as 30 people are standing in a straight line facing north, Z is 17th from the left end and Y is 20th from the right end. As yesterday we had discussed about the same question, isn't it? The yesterday's paper also the same type of question was present. Now 30 persons are there. First, yesterday tell me what we have finalized. Now Z and Y, who is to the left hand side of whom we have done, done that one? How we have finalized that? Now because Z is 17th from the left, if you Z is here and Y is here and Y is to the right hand side of Z, Z is 17 and Y is 20th from the right. These two persons, 20 plus 17 is how much? 37. We need to have only 30 persons and the Z is not to the left of Y and Z is to the right hand side of Y, isn't it? Again, I have discussed about one more concept here. As Z is to the right of Y, now we could able to find this. If these two persons are adjacent to each other, isn't it? Now this Y is what? Y is 17th from the left and 17th Y is Z is 17th from the left. Z is 17th from the left, how many persons are there? 15 and this Y is 20th, this person must be 18, 18 plus 5. 33 plus 2, 25, 35. But whereas we need to have only 30. And these 5 persons must be in between these two. Isn't it? Yesterday we had discussed. Hence, in this one, 17 plus 20. 20 plus 17 is how much? 37. And these Y and Z were already included. If you subtract that one, these 5 persons must be in between Y and Z. Isn't it? We 5 persons are there in between Y and Z. Y is here and Z is here. In between these two, how many persons are there? Five persons are there. And if five persons are there, and there are how many persons in between Y and X? Eleven persons stand in between Y and X. Then if five persons are there, what is the position of Z from the left hand side? Seventeen. Now this person is seventeen. One plus five, six plus one, seven. How many persons are there to the left hand side of Y? There must be ten persons. But whereas we need to have eleven persons between Y and X. And six must be to the right hand side of Y. And so out of which 5 plus 1, 6 were already done. And the remaining 5 more persons should be there. X will be here. Now check out here. 11 people stand between Y and X. Y and X. 5 plus 5, 11. 10 plus 1 is 11. And so what is the question here? How many people stand between Z and X? How many people in between Z and X? Only 5 people. That is choice 3 is the answer. Hence question number 77. Choice 3. Clear now? And this is about 77. Then 78 to 82. Now for this one, there is no necessity to work out the entire procedure, isn't it? 
you can work out directly but whereas and you should be practiced at least some four to five questions in order to take that information directly and again in a jp mali in course i'll explain your tsunami then next one question number 78 onwards now in this 78 onwards what is the information given here eight people eight persons a through h have their birthdays on 5th or 15th of four different months what are those four different months here jan september november and so on jan jan 5th and jan 15th jan 5th jan 15th next one september october november september 5th and september 15th and next one october october 5th and october 15th and next one is november 5th and november 15th november 5 and november 15th hence in total these are the total number eight persons now these eight persons were born in different months four different months isn't it on two different dates 5 and 15 then a has both day on fifth of a month which is having 31 days as a is fifth of a month which is having 31 days how many possibilities do we have either a could be born on october 5th or jan 5th there are two possibilities as there are two possibilities we are writing them separately then only one person born before b as only one person has born before b hence b must be born on january 15 because the person who was born on january 5th is the only person born between before this person only one person number of persons between a and b a and b is one lesser than the number of persons between b and h now number of persons in between a and b is one lesser than the number of persons between b and h as yes, what can you infer from this one number of persons between a and b if number of persons between a and b is zero hence number of persons between b and h must be how many one if number of persons between a and b is one number of persons between b and h must be two isn't it number of persons in between a and b is one lesser than the number of persons between b and h and in this case now in this case how many persons are there in between a and b two persons as there are two persons in between a and b between b and h how many persons should be there three persons hence h must be at this place and you should take care of this information very very careful because from the last two years these type of statements were a regular feature in your examination regular question number of persons ahead of this person equals to the number of persons behind that person and number of persons to the left hand side of that person is one more than the number of persons to the right hand side of this person isn't it and again here we have included one person lesser than this then in this one number of persons in a and b is how many zero as number of persons between a and b is zero between b and h how many persons should be there one person hence where should this h be h must be on the 15 clear now and number of persons in between a and b is one lesser than the number of persons between b and h c and d were held in the same month having 30 days c and d were born in the same month which is having 30 days c and d were born in the same month and that month should have 30 days and c and d in the same month which is 30 days so now in the first case either september or november isn't it c and d can be either here or c and d can be here there are two possibilities in case one then in case two how many possibilities are there now september is not possible because h is already there and c r d will be here and c r d will be here and c and d were held born in the same month which is having 30 days but not in september isn't it but not in september means and this case is ruled out here also c and d can be either here or c and d can be here in the month of november f has birthday after g as f has birthday after g f born after g isn't it f born after g but as the word immediate is not given f was born after g after g and only three persons have birthday between b and e between b and e there must be exactly three persons now in the first case one two three and e and h must be in the same place which is not possible and the first case is ruled out as the first case is ruled out and in the next one three persons between b and e b is on jan 5th one two three e must be at this place if e is here now between f and g what is ordered here f is here and g will be here because g was born after f and c was born before d as c was born before d c is here and d will be here and so what is the final order here a b isn't it a b next one huh? after g on the then okay
number of persons between A and B is one lesser than this one, B and H. C and D were held in the same month, but not in F was born after G. F was born after G. As F was born after G, G is here and F will be here. F was born after G, isn't it? G is here and F will be here. And so what is ordered here? A, B, G, H, F, E, C, D is the order in which these eight persons were born. And this is about question number 78 to 82. Now these type of questions, whatever the questions we have discussed today. Now sir, 81, three sets, 78 to 82 and 86 to 90 and the earlier two sets, and the years and the floors. Now these all will be important for your IBPS clerical tire one as well. Okay? And so please take care of these type of questions. Try it one more. The next one, 83 onwards. Now question number 83, how many persons are there? There are five plus persons A, B, C, D and E and are of different weight, A is heavier than B, but lighter than A. Now five persons are there, one, two, three, four, five. Now among these five persons, A is heavier than B, but lighter than E. The relation among these three persons is A, A, B. And D is heavier than only C. As D is heavier than only C, tell me what is the possibility of this D. D is heavier than only one person. As D is only heavier than only one person, D is here. D is heavier than only one person that is C and the remaining three persons E, A, B must be here, E, A, B. And so what is the final order here? E, A, B, D is. The one whose weight is 30 kg is heaviest among all them. 30 kg is heaviest among all them and B's weight is 15 kg and B is 15 kg. Then question number 83 and 84 and who among the following possibly be weighs 5 kg. 5 kg who is that person here? Either C or D. As a C or D, choice 5. Then question number 84. Who among the following possibly weighs 20 gauges? 20 gauges in between 15 and 30, that is A, choice 1 is answer, 84. Then question number 85. P greater than S must be false. In order to make P greater than S false, then what is the element which you are supposed to check out? Now again. Now the same question for this one definitely falls we have discussed in our classroom. Now in that classroom and question number, what is that question number here? 45, 45 in coded inequalities. Now the same question we have discussed there, greater than. In order to make this greater than false, what you are supposed to prove? By proving which one I can prove that P greater than S is false. Now P equals to S, if I could able to prove, then P greater than S is false. If I could able to prove P lesser than S, then also greater than is false. Or if you could able to P prove lesser than or equals to, then also it is true. And so many different cases wherein I can prove, either lesser than or equals to or lesser than or equals to, in all these three cases, P greater than S will always be false, isn't it? Then coming to the choices, now in the first choice, what is the answer here? P greater than S is true. But as here we need to find out P greater than S false. And in the next one, S lesser than P, as S is lesser than P, each temperature P greater than S is again true. Isn't it? And the third one. What is the third one here? P greater than S. This is also true. Hence, third one cannot be your answer. And in the fourth one, the relation between P and S. Tell me what is the relation between P and S here? S greater than and P lesser than. What is the answer you got here? and the relation between these two, the relation between these two, S and P, greater than and this is lesser than, no relation can be established between these. And in the next one, what is the relation here? S lesser than P, and P greater than S is two. Then what is your answer here? Four is the answer. And strictly speaking, four is also not the answer. As the remaining choices, four choices cannot be your answer, hence we are going for choice four. But as here, what do you mean by this choice four? Choice four means there is no relation between these two. As there is no relation, we cannot say that P greater than S is false. P greater than S can be false. And in the remaining cases, the remaining are definitely true, this can be false. 
Now in this one, in the place of definitely if he has given can, then choice four is the answer. Clear now? And this is about question number 85. Then 86 onwards. Now question number 86. Eight persons sit in a line and all of them are facing towards north direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now eight persons are there. These eight persons are seated in a row facing towards north, but not necessarily and all of them stay in different floors. Different floors. Last year 2016 IBPS PO tied one examination model. Okay? The same question has been given in the examination. And all of them stay in different floors. Third floor, sixth floor, thirteenth floor, nineteenth floor, twenty-seventh floor, thirty-first, forty-third, and forty-seventh. Isn't it? What are the numbers given here? Three, six, thirteen, nineteen, twenty-seven. 27, 31, 43, and 47. Hence, in total, we have seven, eight floors. But not necessarily in the same order. The one who stays on, now coming to the statements, now the one who stays on, the 13th floor sits second to the right of the one who sits on the sixth floor. And 13th floor is seated second to the right of sixth floor. 13th is seated second to the right of sixth floor. And C stays on 27th floor. Whatever this C, and C is on 27th floor. And A sits fourth to the left of the person who stays on the 47th floor. And A is, whatever this A, A is fourth to the left of the 47th floor. And D sits, A sits fourth to the left of the person who stays on 47th floor. And neither A nor the person who stays on 47th floor is an extreme end of the night. As all these persons are facing towards north, A is fourth to the left of 47. 47 must be to the right hand side of A. And A and 47 cannot be at the either ends. Hence, now we should go for the possibilities. What are the possibilities? If the person who is staying on 47th floor is taken from the right, and how many persons are there in between these two? A sits fourth. 1, 2, 3, 4. Isn't it? Hence, A must be here. That is one possibility. Then, what is the second possibility here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If the person who is living on 47th floor is out from the right, then A must be at this place. Are you following this one or not? Neither A nor the person who stays on the 47th floor does not sit at the extreme end. Hence, these are the two possibilities we are left with. Then, and D sits, D does not sit adjacent to H. And D and H are not adjacent to each other. D and H are not adjacent to each other. Next one. And B sits out to the left of F. Whatever this B, B is seated out to the left of F, B is seated out to the left of F, and there is only one person between G who lives on third floor, and who is the person living on third floor here? G. G who lives on the third floor, and the person who stays on the 47th floor. And so how many persons are there? There is exactly one person between this 47th floor person and G. Hence, whatever this G, G must be here. And this G is what? G is third floor. And between 47 and G, there must be exactly one. Hence, G can be either at this place or G can be at this place. Now, in this case, there are two possibilities, isn't it? As there are two possibilities in case one, but whereas in case one, we are having only one possibility. Hence, let us first finalize this one. If this is invalid, then we can go to the second case. Then, there are two persons sit between G and the one who stays on the 43rd. G and 43, how many are there? There are two and the person who lives on 43 can be here or the person who lives on 43 can be here. And so many possibilities, two possibilities in case one. H sits to the left of, immediate left of the one who stays on 43rd. H is to the immediate left of the 43rd. H can be at this place or H can be at this place. And H, immediate left of 43rd, there are two persons between H and F. As there are two persons between H and F, F can be either here, in this case also F is here. In both the cases, F must be here only. And there are two persons between H and F. H and F, two persons between H and F. And F who stays on 31st floor. And who is staying on the 31st floor here? F is staying on the 31st floor. F is here is fixed and that must be 31, isn't it? That must be 31. Earlier, between B and F. Between B and F, how many persons are there? Now I am taking this information. And B is thought to the left of F, F, F is here, 1, 2, B will be here. As B is here, H cannot be here. As H cannot be here, 43 cannot be here. And so where should this H? H must be here, if H is here, and the person, 43 must be here. 
Are you following this one or not? And next. And 6 and 13. And 6 and 13, we should have 6 and 13. What is the possibility? Um, 1. Now 6 and 13. Now this person is the 6 and this person is 13. Isn't it? 6 and 13 find less. Then what is left over here? C is 27. As C is 27 and F is 31, we have taken this one. And G is 3. G we have 3. Then any other information left over here? C stays on S. Then who is not D and H are not adjacent to each other. As D and H are not adjacent to each other, and so D must be at this place. If D is here, then what is the person left over here? C. Then C cannot be at this place because the 43rd person must be at this place. As 43 cannot be here, C must be here, and this C is 27. And what is left over here? D and 43. As yes, what is the number left over? Tell me. 19. And this person is 19. And who is the person left over here? E is the person left over. E is 40. Clear now? Though we got the second possibility, but with the help of the first one, we got only one possibility. Hence, we have finalized that. And this is about question numbers 86 to 90. Then 91 to 95. Now question numbers 91 to 95. Now in this one 91 to 95, what is information given here 91 to 95? Now there are seven boys, Jadeja, Saha, Pujara, Kohli, Vijay, Rahul and Rahene who participate in a game competition which started on Monday and ended on Sunday. Started on Monday, ended on Sunday. In the first round of the competition, each of them played different games. And what are the different games we have? seven different games, cricket, tennis, football and so on, but not necessarily in the same order and at the same time, they like different social networks, networking sites that is Facebook, Twitter, Hike, WhatsApp and so on, and but not necessarily in the same. Now this is entire thing up to here, up to here it is just the description of the persons who are and what they like. And from there onwards the conditions were given. As what is the condition here, Saha did not play on the day either immediately before or immediately after the game of Kohli, isn't it? Now in this one, which one should be fixed in the first row? In the first column, the days should be fixed. Why? Because they are in a specific order. Starting from where? Starting from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And seven days, now the persons, next one the game and finally, what is the next one here? the networking side they likes. Now these are the parameters in this. Then first one. Saha did not play on the day either immediately before or immediately after the game of Kohli. Isn't it? And that means Saha and Kohli, Saha and Kohli. What happened to these two? These two Saha and Kohli cannot be adjacent to each other. Cannot be adjacent to each other. And Kohli who does not like Telegram, Facebook or WhatsApp. And this Kohli, Telegram is ruled out and Facebook is ruled out. And what is the other thing? And WhatsApp. And WhatsApp is also ruled out. This Kohli does not like any one of this. And two games were held between the game of Rahane and Rahul. Neither of them played on Monday. And there is one game between the games of Kohli and Pujara. And but Pujara's game did not happen either on Monday or on Wednesday. And Pujara likes Twitter and likes social and so on. Now, sir, is there any specific information regarding this one? No. No. If you go through this one, Rahane who likes, Rahane who likes Instagram played on the fourth day of the competition. Yes, what is the fourth, play, fourth day of the competition starting on Monday? And this Rahane must be played on, on Thursday, isn't it? Rahane. And who likes what? And the game and the finally the Instagram. Hence Instagram must be like this. Isn't it? Rahan and Instagram. Whether we can able to fix this one or not. And played on the fourth day but played neither cricket. Instagram. Played on the fourth day of the game but neither cricket nor tennis. Hence neither cricket nor tennis. Cricket and tennis is ruled out. Done with this? Then coming to this one. As what is the other information here? Two games were held. Two games were held between between the game of Rahane and Rahul. Between Rahane and Rahul, there must be two. And this Rahul must be, as Rahane is on Thursday, Rahul must be either Monday or Sunday. 
and out of which neither of them played on Monday. As neither of them played on Monday, hence this Rahul must be playing on when? On Sunday. Clear now? And two games were held between Rahan and Rahul. Neither of them played on Monday. And there is one game between Kohli and Pujara. And so how many, how many games are there between Kohli and Pujara? There is exactly one game between Kohli and Pujara. And as Kohli and Pujara, there must be exactly one game. But Pujara's game did not happen either on Monday or on Wednesday. And so Pujara cannot be on Monday and cannot be on Wednesday. As Pujara cannot be on these two places, can Pujara be on Tuesday, tell me? Pujara cannot be on Tuesday. Why if Pujara is on Tuesday, then Kohli must be on Thursday, which is not Paul. And so Pujara cannot be on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And can Pujara be on Saturday? Saturday is also not possible. Hence, well, then this Pujara must be Pujara must be on Friday. If Pujara is on Friday, one person between Pujara and Kohli, this Kohli must be on Wednesday. Done with this one? Kohli is on Wednesday. As Kohli is on Wednesday, Saha and Kohli are not adjacent to each other. And the Saha cannot be on Tuesday. Isn't it? Saha cannot be on Tuesday. Then from here onwards, we can start from the beginning. And two games were held between Rahane and Rahul. Rahane and Rahul, neither of them played on Monday. And earlier, Saha, one information here. And Saha did not. And Saha did not play on the day immediately before or immediately after Kohli. Immediately before or immediately after Kohli, isn't it? Hence, Saha cannot be on Tuesday. As Saha cannot be on Tuesday, Saha can be either Monday or Saturday. Next one. Who does not like either Telegram or Facebook? Kohli did not like Telegram, Facebook or WhatsApp. Instagram as well. Why? Because Instagram is already liked by Rahana. And, and two games, two games were held between Rahana and Rahul. Neither of them played on Monday. One game between Kohli and Pujara, we have taken this information. But Pujara's game did not happen either on Monday or on Wednesday. That's also done. Done. And Pujara likes Twitter social network and plays cricket. Pujara and game is cricket and, and it is Twitter. Hence, from this one, Twitter is also ruled out. Isn't it? Hence, this Kohli does not like Twitter as well. Twitter, Telegram, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram were ruled out. Now we are left with only two more. What are those two? One is Google, and another, another one could be Hike. And this Kohli must be either Google or Hike. And Pujara likes Twitter, social network, and plays cricket. The one who played football on the last day, and football is at this place. Isn't it? The game is football on the last day, on the last day, likes a hike. As this is hike is completed here, and this Kohli does not like hike as well, and this person must like Google. This is the only possibility left out for this Kohli and Google. And Vijay played immediately after Pujara. As Vijay played immediately after Pujara, hence Vijay must be on Saturday. If Vijay on Saturday, Saha cannot be immediately before or immediately after Kohli, and this Saha must be on, Saha must be on Monday. If Saha is on Monday, then who is the person left over here? Jade is the, is the person left over. Do you know? Jade is the person left over. And he likes Facebook social network. And Vijay played immediately after Pujara, and he likes Facebook. And who likes Facebook here? This Vijay likes Facebook. And Facebook, and this Vijay likes Facebook. And Facebook is also completed. And this Vijay likes Facebook. And what are the remaining two left over here? Telegram and WhatsApp. And Jadeja does not like Telegram. As Jadeja does not like Telegram, hence then Saha likes Telegram. If this Saha likes Telegram, and this person likes WhatsApp. Done? Now the social networks were done. Now we are left with only the games are left over now. Then next one. There was one game between Kohli and Pujara. Pujara's game did not happen on Monday or Wednesday. Pujara likes Twitter, social network, and played cricket. The one who played football on the last day of the competition likes hike social network. Isn't it? Vijay played immediately after Pujara, and he likes Facebook. And Jadeja does not like Telegram, social network, and played hockey. And this Jadeja played which game? Hockey. Jadeja played hockey and played hockey. Kohli did not play either basketball or volleyball. And Kohli is what? Kohli does not play basketball or volleyball. Basketball cannot be done. Volleyball is ruled out. Cricket is ruled out. Hockey is ruled out. Football is ruled out. 
then what are the remaining two left over here the remaining two tennis and cricket and tennis isn't it tennis and the one who played badminton badminton was scheduled immediately after the game of cricket badminton is immediately after cricket and this person does not like badminton as well and this kohili does not like hockey cricket badminton football ten football and basketball and volleyball and what is the only game left over for this one tennis and this kohili must like tennis and this kohili must like tennis and rahane who likes instagram rahane who likes instagram played on the fourth day of the competition but played neither cricket nor tennis and whatever there remaining left over here and volleyball and basketball no information given about these two hence if this person saw how likes volleyball then this rahane plays basketball or this rahane plays volleyball this person plays basketball clear now how we have started this one rather than starting with the possibilities now first we have initially searched for the information whether a definite information is given or not what is the definite information here now we have started with this one then this person rahane played on the fourth day by starting with this one then we can able to fix all the persons hence first we should always search for the information for a definite information clear now this is about question numbers 91 to 95 done with this 91 to 95 write down this arrangement then question numbers 96 to 100 now in this question numbers 96 to 100 it is again based on what floor arrangements first write down this arrangement then let us discuss about this 96 to 100 S96 to 100. After a long time for reunion and to give time to family, six Kapoor's family members, P, Q, R, S, N, T, U, T, and U are shooting in a in the same city for upcoming movies, and they live in eight different floors of a building. And two of the floors in the building are vacant. Now, how many floors are there? Eight floors. Among the eight floors, two floors are vacant, and these six persons occupy six different floors. Then. are vacant the lower most floor of the building building is number 1 and the one above that is number 2 and so on till the top most floor is number 8 and each one of them is shooting for a different movies namely two blade rangoon and purna and so on eight and there are two married couples in the family among these six persons how many married couples there are two married couples and the number of floors above use husband now from here onwards the conditions were started till this place only the description regarding these persons were given now let us start with this the number of the number of floors above us brother is same as the number of floors between ss father and us wife now tell me as yes, who are the persons involved in this one the number of floors above us brother u is having a brother are you agreeing this one or not u is having a brother and floors between ss father and us wife now this u is having a wife as this u is having a wife u is a male and this u's wife is some person isn't it and whatever this one s s is having a father and s is father above u's brother u's brother is same as the number of floors between s s father and u's wife and this s is having a father as well isn't it and s is having a father u is having a wife u is having a brother as well the next one and p son p son t and whatever this p p is having a son and who is that son p son is t p son t lives at odd number floor above the floor number 4 above the floor number 4 odd number floor can be either 5 or 7 isn't it either 5 or 7 there are three people between two vacant floors and only three floors between us wife and the one who is shooting for firangi the one who is sitting for elder leave immediately above you only three floors between you and ss grandfather now this ss is having a grandfather as well as this ss is having a grandfather as well then what are the different possibilities for this one hence s must have a grandfather isn't it hence tell me 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 persons are there but whereas we need to have only only 7 persons 
as seven persons must be there, then where should this seventh person? Now, sir, one person must be here, and S must be there. S is what? And S, S is the child of one of this person, isn't it? One of this person. U's mother lives immediately above. U is having a mother. As U is having a mother, and this person is having a mother, isn't it? Mother, and this person is a father, isn't it? Because grandfather is there. And so grand one, two, three, four, five persons were there. Now we are left with only the sixth person. And who is the sixth person here? Sixth person can be T can be either at this place or the child of this person, isn't it? Follow out another letter. Hence, this is the final arrangement for this one. And T is the son of P. T is the son of P. The number of rows between T and the one who is shooting for Rangoon is one. The one who is shooting for Rangoon lives immediately above the one vacant floor. The floor vacant floor is even number. R R is the wife of you. Fine. R is the wife of you is clearly given. As R is the wife of you, then who is the person here? Now we are left with this P, P and T. Now this T must be what? T must be at the third place. As T is at the third place, now this P is the parent of this T. P is here, T is here. Final now? Then who are the persons tell me? Then the remaining two persons. Who are the remaining two persons? Q and Q and P. P has already done. Now P and T can be either here or tell me whether P can P and T can be here or not. Sorry, S must be at the last place. As S is at the last place, now is here. Now S must be S is the grandchild of this person. As S is the grandchild of this person, S must be either the child of this person or child of this person. But where this P and T must be where and T must be here. If T is here, P must be the either the father or the mother. Then what is the gender of this P? Any information regarding this one? And U is the uncle of S. U is the uncle of S. Hence S cannot be at this place. U is the uncle of S. Now we need to find out the relation P and Q. P and Q are, are spouses to each other. Then out of which we need to find out the gender of these two persons. Isn't it? Now, as of now, this is the final diagram for this P and Q. P and Q can be either at this place or P and Q can be either at this place. Done with this? Now, this is the family tree. Then, let us fix these persons in this. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hence, 8 persons living on 8 different floors. The persons and, and the movie, they are acting in is also clearly given. Now condition number one. Now starting from this one, there are two married couples in the family. There are two married couples in the family. The number of floors above used brother is same as the floors between S's father. Who is S's father here? S's father and U's wife. The number of floors above used brother. Who is used brother? T. The number of floors above T is same as, same as whom? Is same as the number of floors between S's father and U's wife. S's father is T and U's wife. Who is U's wife here? R. And the number of persons between these two persons is the same. The number of floors between. Now he is talking about what? In between. The number of floors above U's brother. Who is U's brother here? T is U's brother. Number of floors above U's brother is same as, is same as the number of floors between S's father and U's wife. Who is S's father? S's father could be P or Q and U's wife is R and the number of person, number of floors must be same. If there is one floor above this T, hence between this P or Q and R, there must be only one floor. Follow out another letter. You can ever once more out another S's father. Who is S's father? T. T can apply now. Number of floors above this T is same as the number of floors between S's father. Who is S's father? S's father T and U's wife. U's wife? S's father and U's wife. S's father and U's. Who's, who is U's wife? R. And the number of in between T and R. Isn't it? Then, next one. P son T lives at odd number floor above floor number 4. Now P son, who is P son here? T. T lives on, T lives on odd number floor above fourth floor. Either it could be 5 or 7. 
two possibilities. Now we are starting with the first possibility that is five. And T lives on an odd number floor above the floor number four. And there are three floors live between two vacant floors. And between two vacant floors, how many floors are there? Three floors. And there are three floors. And fifth one is not a vacant floor. First one is also not a vacant floor because there must be exactly three in between vacant floors, isn't it? And the possibilities could be eight and eight and four and seven and three and six and two. And only three floors between you's wife and the one who is sitting for and Ferengi. Ferengi and you's wife. There must be how many? There are three floors in between these two. And the one who is sitting for Ada lives immediately above you. Ada is immediately above this you. And only three floors are between you and S's grandfather. And you and S's grandfather. You and S's grandfather. Who could be the grandfather of this one? Either P or Q. And there are three floors between this P and Q and U's. And the one who is sitting for Balsam lives immediately above the one shooting for tube light. You's mother lives immediately, immediately above the one who is shooting for Purna. And who is shooting for Purna? T is the son of P. T is the son of P. And the number of floors between T and the one who is shooting for Rangoon is one. T and Rangoon, there must be how many? There must be one. And the one who is shooting for Rangoon lives immediately below the one vacant floor. Now Rangoon lives immediately below the vacant floor. Between T and Rangoon there must be exactly one. As T is here, then Rangoon. Then can you take this, the person who works in Rangoon at this place? Between T and Rangoon there must be exactly one. And this Rangoon lives or what? Below the one a vacant floor. And this is vacant floor. If this is a vacant floor, then there are three floors between vacant floors. One, two, three. And another vacant floor must be eighth floor. Clear enough? Hence, we, now we could able to finalize the vacant floors in this one as vacant floor is here. And vacant floors were done. Only two floors are there between the one who is shooting for baths and Ferengi. And vacant floor. The floor number of the vacant floors are even number. Floor numbers are even numbers. Hence, 8 and 4, these are even numbers. Next one. The floor numbers are even numbers. R is the wife of you. Only two floors are between the one shooting for Baths and Ferengi. Baths and Ferengi, there must be exactly two in between these two. And S's grandmother lived immediately below the vacant floor and not on the ground floor. And S's below the vacant floor but not on the ground floor. S's grandmother. Who can be that S's grandmother? Either P or Q. And this person lives immediately below this one. And this P or Q can be either seventh floor or the third floor. And Q neither lived on fifth, 2 or 5 nor on 3. Q is neither 2 nor 3 nor 5. Q cannot be 2, 3, 5. Hence, so where should this Q? Q cannot be 2, 3, 5. Hence, it can be 1, 7 or 6. And the one who is shooting for Rangoon, the one who is shooting for Rangoon lives on one of the floors below floor number 4. Below the floor number 4, that is finalized. And U is the uncle of S. U is the uncle of S. Done with this? Now, as of now, we could be able to finalize only these persons. And two blade Rangoon, there are two married couples. Then again, come back to this one. The number, there are two married couples. The number of floors above U's brother. Yes, who is U's brother here? T. And T, the number of floors above U's brother is same as the number of floors between S's father. S's father, that is T, and U's wife. And U's wife, who is U's wife here? U's wife is R. And so how many floors are there? About T, three floors. And between T and R, how many floors must be there? Three floors. And three floors must be there. Hence, where should this R? R must be on the ground floor. Clear now? Now we have finalized this R as well. Then P's son, T lives at an odd number floor. P's son, T lives at an odd number floor. And above floor number four, there are three persons live between two vacant floors. Only three floors between you's wife, R and the one who is sitting for Firangi. R and Firangi, there must be exactly three. And the person who shoots for Firangi must be T, lives on fifth floor. <coughs> the one who is shooting for Irida lives immediately above you. Irida is immediately above you and you cannot be at this place and you cannot be at this place. Hence, where should this you? You must be here. 
if u is here and this erida must be at this place clear now erida is at this place and only three flows are there between u and ss grandmother u and ss grandmother and ss grandmother either could be prq hence prq there are how many flows between p and q prq 1 2 3 hence prq can be at this place grandmother must be at this place isn't it if grandmother is here and u and q only three flows and what is other information here at the last and this person is not living on 2 3 and 5 at each other and what is where is that information here q neither lived on second floor fifth floor or number 3 and second floor is ruled out second floor cannot be q as q cannot be on the second floor fifth floor second floor fifth floor or the third floor q is not 2 3 5 and this q must be where q must be on the seventh floor if q is on the seventh floor then whatever this q q is the grandmother if q is the grandmother and p is the grandfather now we can able to determine the genders of these two persons as well clear now now whatever this q here q is a female and this person is a male now only three flows are there between u and ss grandmother u and ss grandmother who is the grandmother here u and ss grandmother u is here who is ss grandmother ss grandmother is u and ss grandfather who is ss grandfather here p hence where should this be p? p must be at this place if p is here then who is the person of order here p q r s is the person of order hence s must be at this place third floor done with this now we have done with this one and the one who is shooting for balsa lives immediately above the one who is shooting for tubelet balsa is immediately above tubelet hence this is balsa balsa is immediately above tube light and this is tube light isn't it balsa and tube light were done then now we are left with what 1 2 3 4 5 are done now we are left with only one more what is that one here purna hence this person is doing for purna done with this arrangement here again the combination of statements were given no definite information regarding any person and this is about question numbers 96 to 100 done with this let's write down this final arrangement now this is about paper number 30 and the next is quant number series question numbers please in number series huh? 56 now question numbers first write down this arrangement then let us discuss about 56 to 60 now 56 to 60 what is information here 56 to 60 wrong number series as tell me what are the questions that are to be discussed among this five now 56 to 60 question number 56 2 3 10 39 1 and 178 8 8 if now 178 to 8 8 if numbers are increasing at a very fast rate it must be under multiplication or combination it cannot be under multiplication because none of these numbers is a perfect multiple hence it must be combination and 178 into how much 178 into 5 yes what about 178 into 5 8 60 isn't it 860 and plus how much into 5 plus 25 if this is into 5 plus 25 the remaining must be into 1 plus 1 square into 2 plus 2 square into 3 plus 3 square and so on then check out here into 1 plus 1 and into 2 is 2 plus 4 2 square into 3 plus 3 square is so much 9 and next one into 4 plus 4 square What is into nine? Into four. Thirty-nine into four. Forty into four. One sixty minus four. One fifty-six plus sixteen. One fifty-six plus sixteen is how much? One seventy. Come on. Eight. Hence, what is the wrong number here? One seventy-two is the correct number, and this is the wrong number. One seventy-two into five is how much? And eight eighty-five is the answer. Sir, when did I do? And into one plus one square. Into two plus two square. Into three plus three square, into four plus four square, into five plus five square, and the wrong number is one seventy eight, and the correct one is one seventy two, and that is choice two is the answer. Fifty six choice two. Then, yes, quick numbers please. Nothing else. Fifty nine. Then question number fifty nine. Yes, tell me what about this question number fifty nine here. 29, 33, and so on. 
29, 33, now, sir. Now, tell me whether it comes under difference product or combination. Now, it comes under difference. 29 and 33, because the numbers are increasing at a smaller rate, it must be under difference, plus 4. 33 and 49, 8. 33 plus 8 is 49. Then, what are these numbers here? 4 and 8 can be written as 2 square, 3 square, or 4 into 2 is 8. Then, 41 and 50, what is the number here? 9. Now, 2 square, 2 cube. 3 square, 3 cube. Hence, 50 plus 27, 77. Next one. Next one must be 16. 77 to 16 is so much. 93 should be the number. If it is 93, next one is 93 plus 64 and 157 is the number. And so, what is the correct number here? 93 is the correct number and the wrong number is 98. So, I 3 is the answer. Now, the difference between the numbers are plus 2 squared plus 2 cube plus 3 squared plus 3 cube plus 4 squared plus 4 cube. Done with this? Now, 59. Next. Done with the remaining? The next is quant. 